We're all getting used to doing a lot more things virtually nowadays, from how we work remotely to how we engage with our friends, family, and neighbors. But one of the big changes that's being adapted is how the common real estate transaction is being revised. Technology is making it possible now to buy and refinance a home and use technology for that purpose. In today's training, I'm going to break down exactly how we're doing it. Hey, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their futures through expert mortgage and financial strategies. In today's training, we're going to talk about how technology is enabling the real estate process. So the first thing is that you used to have to actually go and meet with a lender or real estate professional in person at their office or at a mutual meeting place to start the whole process of buying a home. But now with technology, you can actually do a virtual consultation and meet with them over Zoom or any type of video chat platform. So that makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. The next thing is home searches and virtual showing. So you can obviously enable home searches right online where you can get information on properties sent to you on a daily basis of new properties that may fit your criteria. And the other cool thing is that you can get digital tours of properties and do walkthroughs and virtual showings with your real estate agent, again, using video chat and using technology platforms to do that. So it makes it so you don't actually have to set foot inside of a home in order to see if you might be interested or not. The next thing is document signing and transmission. So in the real estate process, there's a lot of compliance that needs to be done. There's a lot of documentation that needs to be signed and acknowledged as well as transmitted throughout the process. So what's happening here is that signing contracts, loan disclosures, and different letters you have to sign during the processing of your transaction can now be done completely electronically. Either on your phone, tablet, or computer, you can electronically sign these documents, contracts, disclosures, etc., without setting foot in, outside of your home, and also without having to have a bunch of documents coming to you in the mail via FedEx or UPS, which used to be common. The other thing is, as far as transmitting documents, we used to rely on fax machines and, again, FedEx, UPS, and different courier services. Now you can use secure email. And also, I have my clients set up in a digital portal where they can upload documents securely right from their phone, tablet, or computer. It makes the process a lot simpler and a lot quicker. Now, the next thing is sending money. So you're going to need to send money during the real estate transaction. Um, one reason is to pay for appraisals. So appraisals are typically going to be paid for out of pocket by the buyer. And the way my company has it set up is you'll get an email with a secure link where you can just go in and pay for that appraisal digitally using your credit or debit card. And you get an instantaneous approval as well as a receipt for your records. Uh, as far as wire transfers, those can be used for earnest money deposits on a property and also if you need to pay for closing costs. And right now, many banks are allowing you to do wire transfers right through their website or their online portal. So there's no need to go into a bank anymore in most instances to actually do that. So you can do the entire money transmission of a real estate transaction right through your phone or computer using technology. And last but not least is let's talk about the closing process. So a lot of people have horror stories about the closing process taking a really long time and having a really tired or sore hand from signing hundreds of pages. Whether you're buying or refinancing, most states now allow an express e-closing. And the way that that works is you can sign the majority of your documents on your phone, tablet, or computer the day of the closing without actually having to meet with anyone. And then when you do go forward in most states, you do still have to meet with somebody to sign the notarized documents and the recorded documents. But that makes a situation where you may only have to meet with them for 10 or 15 minutes instead of 45 minutes to an hour or even several hours I've heard on, on closings uh, before. So this gives you a leisurely way to really read through the documents, understand everything, and not be pressured to sign away with a time clock going. Also, mobile notaries and attorneys are normal now, where you used to have to go into an office to meet with somebody, uh, an attorney's office or a real estate office. Now, a lot of the time, they'll send somebody to your home, and you can actually sign right at your kitchen table or uh, your office table there to make sure all the closing documents are completed. And like I said, if you're doing an express closing, that could take the time down from hours down to just minutes of getting that closing done. So I hope this has been a value to you. I hope it helps explain how technology is really allowing real estate to transact on a much, uh, a much more innovative basis than it had been for many years. So in my eyes, it's a huge advantage that this pandemic has given us from a real estate standpoint. If you 
found value here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also click the link so you get notified on all of our future content. And if I can be of assistance, feel free to reach